Tom, here's the permit. Got it. Right here. See okay. all? See yeah, all? I got action. Go ahead. Get it in there. So it was an incredible opportunity to get to go fish with Nick Labadee again. You know, the plan for the day was go fishing, and I like that. He just happened to be permit fishing nonstop for weeks, you know, so unlike last time where he was dialed in on all the three species, bonefish, permit, tarpon, here he seemed to know where every permit in the world was. I got five, I got ten permit falling in mine. Okay. Oh, well, it's a permit! You got a permit too? Yeah. Okay, triple so we got a triple, triple and permit. I'm about to go for another. Oh! Yeah! Come on, come on! Oh! He ate it! He ate it! He ate it! Nice, baby! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! I thought you said you had to... I got him, relax. Oh! Dude, he just ripped my boat off! Oh! Awesome, look at that big boy! K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. So Nick, you just finished up the permit tournament? Yeah. It was yeah. all permit? The all whole, permit. whole thing? Yep. And yeah. uh, a lot of fish around, huh? Oh my gosh, yeah. So we actually, uh, it was 27 fish. 27 fish? In, in three, how many days? In three days. Wow. That's three pretty days good, fish. man. On yeah. fly. All fly. <laughs> All fly. Yeah, well, yeah. These guys we got some them. live crabs. How do you feel about throwing the live crabs? <laughs> oh, man, I'm ready to crush them. <laughs> <laughs> so tired of them oh, saying no man. to the fly. Yeah. With 20, well, if you caught 27, i got to think that there were quite a few more uh, opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. You man. didn't You know catch. how that goes. Um, well, good, and, man. Well, we're glad to be down here fishing with you again. So take us to do whatever you want to do, man. Cool. If you want to throw live crabs, we're for live crabs. I got fly rods too. Great. Um, yeah, we'll see what the day gives us and uh, hopefully whack them. Yeah. All cool. right. Let me well, well, get well, this, we this up enough wind line. for you. Yeah. You, you know what? I don't you. mind the wind, though. Good. I yeah. like that. They're, uh, they're not as sensitive. Yeah, I'm with well. you on the wind. Yeah. Just well, makes it a little more difficult to get around, that's all. Yeah, it's OK. We don't want oversensitive fish. Yeah, they've definitely uh, been getting pounded the last couple days too, so they're they're already a little sensitive. Poor guys, I'm, I almost feel bad for them. Almost. Almost. So it was an incredible opportunity to get to go fish with Nick Labadee again. Um, we had an awesome day with him, um, what was it, two years ago. Mm -hmm. I went down there, it was on your birthday, yeah. and we caught a slam. Um, you know, just impressed with him as a guide, as a, as a person, um, just entertaining, and boy was he on the fish. What a great day. We started off, caught tarpon, bonefish seemed to be everywhere, even when we were looking for permit, and, and, and then the permit. We finally finished it off with that permit. Yeah, the, I mean, Nick's, Nick's definitely on him. He's a guy, just like you say, like, uh, I'm, I'm impressed with him as a guy. I'm impressed with him as a person. He's a very, very easy guy to spend the day with. I mean, he is as easygoing and positive and happy and happy-go-lucky, smiling all day, and uh, just a real pleasure uh, to spend the day with. And then you combine that with somebody who is super passionate about what they're doing and really, really, really putting in the time. What do you think, Nick, is the reason that people are catching more permit in these tournaments? Is it a fly innovation? Is it just... The approach is getting better, the anglers are getting better, like what is it? Yeah, I bet it has a little bit to do with all that. Um, you know, we're definitely throwing some different flies. You know, these anglers, they really, they really take it serious too, man. There's some really heavy hitters. And I'm sure there was back then too, but. On this trip, we hit it just perfect because Nick had just fish the IGFA permit tournament. It's an all-fly tournament. And so that tournament had just ended the day before we yeah. got there. So Nick had his finger on the pulse as well as he's ever going to have it for the whole you year. You know what else he had? He had a revenge tour in mind because he'd been out there throwing feathers at him for, for, for three days, um, you know, with some success, but, but, you know, certainly very difficult. And I'm sure he had a lot more rejections than he had eats. And um, apparently it's hard to get crabs in Key West right now. We brought crabs down and he was like, oh yeah, we're going to get them. Yeah. Tom, here's the permit. Got it. Right here. See okay. all? See yeah, all? Yeah, I got him. Go ahead. Get it in there. Stop. 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 Good. Oh, right on him. Not yet. Come tight. Come tight, Tom. I think, there he ate, he ate it right there. There he is. There he is. Good job. <laughs> There's still a bunch of them in there, Rich. I'm, I'm in. in. Nick Labady on the meat. <laughs> uh, Rich, they're right here, going left, down the bank. You see the meat in the cut? Going right? No, going left. Yep, good. Let's see if that works out. They're on it, Rich. Did he eat it? 
Reel down, you're tight. Yes, sir. Oh, tight. <laughs> triple on, header. Okay. Double up. <laughs> no, triple, right. triple up. <laughs> right on, Nick. Come down and grab the uh, yellow jack rod. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> And it just seemed like they were everywhere. I throw out there and, and hook one, and um, oh, I forgot. I had actually hooked a yellow jack before that. Yep. We get to that spot, we saw a, a big shark, and there was all these yellow jacks all over it. And I throw over there and hook this nice yellow jack. I'm fighting him. That's when the school permit showed right. up, of course. You throw over and hook the permit. So I'm literally holding one rod, trying to cast with another, and uh, sure enough, hook a second permit. We've got two permit on, a yellow jack. I think Nick jumps down and, and takes the yellow jack and lands it. And while we're fighting our true permit, he takes that same jig, no shrimp, nothing on it, just throws it right back into those things and manages to hook another permit. We had a triple header and they were still more out there. He's following you, he's on we're you. We're about to get another one. You got Jack, him? Jack, <laughs> Jack. Jack. Go ahead, go up here. Jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You're all right, I'll, Jeez. I'll take it right Look over. Look at that you. giant mud over there, what is that? Wreck. Oh, that's a wreck. No, that, that, oh, that's a wreck, okay. Oh, I better not let my fish get in there. Yes, so, sir, Nick. Sorry, Tom, I abandoned guide duties to uh, <laughs> go for the triple, hey, buddy. You're not guiding today, we're having fun. <laughs> you, told me, you already told me you were on vacation. <laughs> that's right. We're Pretty having sure we, we, we have a third crab rod, too. Pretty I'll tell sure you what, this that's why this thing looked at the crab forever, because he's, he's a little tiny fella. <laughs> I got five, I got 10 permit fall in mine. Okay, well. Oh, it's a permit! You got a permit too? Yeah! Okay, triple so we got a triple, triple and permit. I'm about to go for another. Get another yeah. crab, a small one. I got I got them fall in mine. Tons of them fall in mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> on the plane jig. I've never seen that, look at that. Look at him, he's upside down. He's swimming upside down. I've never he's seen that before. swimming upside down. K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Hawks K. Find what lures you. Lowrance, America's number one fish finder. Waypoint, the destination for outdoor entertainment. Mercury Marine, go boldly. St. Croix Rods, the best rods on earth. And by Ameritrail Trailers. Daiwa. Marathon. Black Rifle Coffee Company, Salt's Gone, Power Pole, and Reflex Boat Decking. So it was a cool day. We got the trailer hooked up and uh, left Hawks K and uh, trailer down to Key West get there with Nick and, and uh, he's got a cool place to meet us there at the at the Boyd's Campground. Just a beautiful spot, you know, not crowded. Um, uh, they were nice enough to let us launch there. You know, the plan for the day was go fishing and I like that. Um, you know, we told him, hey, whatever man, whatever you're on. Um, he just happened to be permit fishing nonstop for weeks, you know, so unlike last time where he was dialed in on all the three species, bonefish, permit, tarpon, here he seemed to know where every permit in the world was. And what was interesting, you know, as guides, you've got your sure things where you know where fish are, but you always want to put in a little exploration, you know, maybe it's one spot a day, 10% or whatever. So the first spot he, you know, stops at, it was like, you know, maybe they're going to be here, maybe they're not. And we looked around, didn't see any and that was the only spot <laughs> that he took us all day where there weren't now he's like all right now we're going to where they're where i know they're at he definitely saw that wreck coming you're good oh shark with uh, tons of jacks on it dude there's a lot of fish in this oh. channel welcome to key west Rich. <laughs> oh, triple header permit that's 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 pretty good you know, it's uh, it wasn't his first, it wasn't my first, but they're they're rare. You know, you don't you don't get a, a lot of triple headers, and and in order to do it, there needs to be some pretty cooperative fish, and that's what we that's what we had. We also had anglers that could kind of handle that chaos. We, we had really four four rods going to get three fish, and and you you know the lines are crossing. We're moving rods back and forth. I haven't had a triple header permit in a couple of years, guys. It's been like two years. Well, I mean, it's one thing to do is getting started. On, on, on a wreck out in deep water. It's nothing to do on the flats. Yeah, on the flat. Just getting started. Just getting started. Well, this is a way to get that revenge you're talking about after after three days chucking of chucking feathers at him. 
Yeah, we'll swing back around and see if they settle in. That's a good one, Rich. Well, you know. Well, they're all good. I'm gonna stand up here while y'all are messing with that guy. Now, do you ever have the sharks eat them in here? I haven't. Honestly, I don't really. Yeah. These, these, it's not really a spot for these fish. They just kind of came in and staged up for a day or two. Oh, man. That is a little bit bigger. There you How go. about that? <laughs> That's the I'll, uncle. I'll let you guys catch the baby ones. <laughs> Sweet. Good work, fellas. That's so freaking awesome. I love it. Good work. Hi. Oh, nice one, buddy. Dang, dude. I, and I, of course, I threw over and hooked the jack first, which was kind of a mistake. And then they all well, we didn't know what was, didn't know what, us, was, did we? what was there. Yeah. Well, yeah, action, action brings catching. action, too, right? But Nick handled it perfectly. He was down for it. He wanted to get a triple, and we got that triple. We're off to a great start, you know? I mean, we're down there to catch some permit. We've all caught one, you know, within a short time of leaving the dock, and we got the rest of the day going. All right, thanks for playing, buddy. <laughs> off he goes. Now, that's a, that's a cool scenario hey, there, man. Good start. Yeah. That is a cool scenario. Good start. Sweet. Well, should we see if they uh, settle back in? Sure. Absolutely. I don't, I don't, Normally uh, I, would, I wouldn't go back through, but. You're mad at them. I'm mad at them. I him. like <laughs> it, I like it. <laughs> I've only had one triple header permit in my career before. It was a couple years ago. I just do so much fly fishing right now that there's, <laughs> you're hoping for one, you know? Um, but it's, it's crazy what you can do with, with uh, spinning gear. Throwing a live crab at a permit, it is still extremely, extremely difficult. Um, there's just a little bit less that goes into it um, than, than throwing a fly in there. But you need to still need to understand the, the depth of water, the current flow. Um, that crab will still frisbee in the wind. You know, you have to adjust for that. Ooh, it's gonna go a little right, but just maybe a little past him. That's right in there, dude. Yeah. Oh, he, did he eat it, Tom? Yeah. He's trying to. Come tight. Well, I'll come tight yeah. when he... <laughs> What yeah. the hell, Mary Bella? <laughs> in the dark. This is my first time. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> on the powerful, waiting for it. See, good patience, man. Waiting good on the patience. clouds. Way to go, brother. Thank you. Way to go. That's the old bull and the young bull thing, you know. Just, just be patient, relax, no rush. Luckily, you know, we're kind of in that uh, transitional period um, where it comes from, you know, a nice hot summer, and uh, we just kind of had our first. A little bit of north wind clock around last week and uh, water temps are starting to cool down and a lot of those fish that um, they kind of hanging out in the deeper water where it's a little bit cooler kind of started coming back in and really hungry <laughs> as we saw. So it's, it's a really cool time of year if you can time it right. I like this as we're catching them they just keep swimming by us. <laughs> yeah. This is good. This is good. It's because they were they're trying to get off this flat before they end up like a flounder dry. I think they heard there's real crabs in town today and instead of fake ones. Whew, that's a good one. They're all good, that buddy. That is a big one. Snatch him. Oh, come on, <laughs> come back around. Snatch him. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice job, dude. Oh, that's that's a um, Key West average right there, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah. Last week, um, I spent a lot of time pre-fishing for the uh, IGFA Invitational Permit Tournament. Uh, a lot of really heavy hitters getting involved in this tournament. It's um, fly fishing only for permit only and um, taking part in that tournament was incredible and uh, I was really looking forward to having Tom and Rich come down and uh, chuck some live crabs at these things. I know how much Tom really enjoys doing that. It really was, uh, was really cool to kind of get some payback on those suckers. You're getting some, Thanks for playing, you're getting buddy. some redemption. That's right, <laughs> awesome job, dude. <laughs>
Well, maybe not. Good eye, man. Yeah. Good really eye. good eye. Way to get it done, uh, brother. He's like, you see the fish? No, I don't see them. Where are they? They're like 600 yards away. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, that's why I don't see them because I'm not even looking oh, the school's that far. Still back there. Okay. I'm looking at I'm looking at different fish. Okay, all right, get it back, get it back, get it back. Fishing with him and, and especially permit being a specialty, they're the one fish that I have no confidence without sun. I mean, I can catch a bonefish or a tarpon without sun, no problem. But it was all about the sun for the permit. There's usually a window, you know, the middle of the day, right? You know, 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock or whatever it is, the, the middle of the day when the sun's up the highest, where you have the best light window. And, you know, matching that, of course, with the tide. Uh, you know, looking at Key West, all those giant flats, north, south, east, west, Every one of them can have a permit on it. You've taken me to different ones, he's taken me. I mean, it seems like they're all productive at one time or another. But what I was just amazed with him, the two times we fished with him, is his timing. He would show up for that half hour window when they were in that one spot. And then matching that with, with the sun, you know, like I wanna go to my best stuff for that, you know, that two hour window when the sunlight's at its peak and the tide are at its peak. And I was really amazed with that. And sure enough, that's what he put us on. Mm -hmm. Dude, that was a wad of them. Yeah, they were. They looked like those triple tail yesterday, man. Three, three yeah. head to tail like that. I know, and I was trying to throw on them, and I was like, we're all looking at different fish. Yeah. <laughs> well, there were so. That's a good problem to have when there's so many fish that all three people are looking at different fish. I've been on a few guys' boats that had the marine decking uh, surfaces on it, and, um, and I really liked it. I mean, it felt great on the feet, looked great, um, but what I was scared about is, is it just, it soaked up blood and guts and just, just it's really hard to clean um, to the point where even all the advantages of uh, being cool, um, I like the way it takes the, the glare off the boat with a, a darker color, just a lot of great advantages of it, but man, the cleaning was the thing that just scared me away from ever getting it. That's until I found this reflex decking. This reflex decking, they have formulated specifically to not soak in blood or, or other dirt and stuff like that. I mean, really, I spray it off at the end of the day. Um, if we're out there and we get into some fish and there's blood on the deck or whatever, just spray it off with a wash down hose and it comes clean. Some of these other products, it soaks in and it's, it's kind of a nightmare to get out. But this has been really easy to clean throughout the day, just spray it off really. And then at the, at the end of the day, most of the time, unless it's been a terrible, you know, bloody mess out there, all I do is just spray it off with the salts gone and just hit it with the brush a little bit, spot scrub it and spray it off, that's it. If there's one little bad spot and I need to use some, some heavier soap or something like that, I'll, I'll hit that one little spot. But for the most part, hitting it with the salts gone and spot scrubbing it, it comes clean every time. And then it has all the advantages that I like of being soft and easy on the feet, um, looks great, have, have different designs, um, easy on the eyes, cool to the touch, really a lot of advantage for it. So check it out, Reflex Decking. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Hook. Tackle Direct, the world's premier fishing outfitter. Yeti. And by Berno and Rod Holders. Wiley X. Nikon. Buff. Lithium Pros and Golden Boat Lifts. Did you know you can get every episode of Saltwater Experience completely free on Waypoint TV? Go to waypointtv.com and find out how you can download the app or find it on any smart TV. And if that's not enough, you can find the Tom Rowland Podcast on Apple, Spotify, or anywhere you find podcasts. And we'd love to have you as a follower on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So the last fish that I caught, the tide's pushing out, the wind's pushing, and I'm fighting this fish, and we're thinking maybe we might see some more. So we really wanna like stop and, and not burn, burn up this flat. Plus, if we just let the wind blow us, it's gonna blow us onto an area that's too shallow. So I was kind of in a situation to where I had to fight this fish from a, from a dead boat. 
I'll tell you what, we're running out of water quickly here. Yeah, we were, man. I this mean, was... we're, we're, we're really getting close to And way to read that shallow. wind on that shot, Tom. You put it way up wind way and up, blow right way into up. them. Because you know it's going to blow in. So the one thing you're trying to do, like on that shot, is it has to land on this side of them. So even if it's like way this side of them, you can still bring it into them. And we were talking earlier about this video that I had seen with Captain Kevin Guerin and one of his customers saw an albino permit, a permit that was white as this cup right here. And it wasn't like this video was like just a split second. They had minutes of this footage of this white permit swimming around. And Kevin said he had never seen an albino permit. The angler had never seen an albino permit. But when I first was looking at that video, I was like, I think that fish might be swimming upside down. And as we're catching this last fish, sure enough, it turns upside down, swimming for yards. See, look at how look at him swimming he's up upside on down. Side, he's, backwards. he's swimming upside it's down. Albino. See that? <laughs> he's upside, he's upside, <laughs> that's what I thought that albino I've never seen was. that. Look at that. Look at him. He's upside down. He's swimming upside down. I've never he's seen that before. swimming upside down. See, that's what I thought that that's albino crazy. permit video was. And I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. And I was like, I mean, you have him hooked normally. No, nah, he's something got wrapped or something. And I, and I could see where the hook was coming out. I'm like, he's hooked normal. And you guys were like, no, it's got to be hooked under I, or something. I, I would have thought for sure it was somehow wrapped around the pectoral fin and I was pulling him upside right. down. I've and then he was happen. just like, well, this is just more comfortable. But that fish was absolutely swimming upside down, making headway the same way that it would normally do. And I figured at any minute he's going to flip over and he just kept doing it. That was crazy because when they are swimming upside down, they are as white as this cup. So it was so see easy. did that all the time. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> but we always say it all the time. When you're fishing down here in the Florida Keys, you see something new every, every day. single day. That was really pretty much the highlight of the day for me because I've caught a lot of permit. I've seen them in a lot of different situations, but I've never seen that. And that's what'll stick with me. He's doing it normal. He's totally that's upside just, down. He, he, just wanted, he just wanted to do I've that. I've never seen that before. Well, Ooh, now he's going to take off because he's not, he's not confused anymore. <laughs> he was probably dizzy. We were just talking about that video of um, Tom thought he's swimming upside down. Oh, that's another one. Now, wow. Yeah. What is that, a big shark? Yep. we got to watch out for him. Okay, now, Tom, have you seen him swim upside down like that? Before? I have seen him swim upside down, not quite that long. But I have seen him swim upside down. That's why this shark's coming. Ah. Nice. We'll grab your rod. I'll bring him over here. Boom. That's a good one. Yeah. Wow, look at yes, that. Is that, a or is that an old shark bite? Oh, yeah, he's been through some stuff, hadn't he? Somebody might need the pliers on that one. Man, I'll tell you what, we're running out of water here. Nick, I don't know if you could have done any better for us today. Permit so, everywhere. It's amazing. Awesome job, dude. Way to so awesome. It. So fun to fish with somebody that has the same passion for these fish that I do, man. Absolutely. And when they act like this, <laughs> And it's even better. It's even better. Mm, thanks for playing, dude. Should thanks, buddy. That? Yeah, man, good job. Let me see if he swims upside down away. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild. That was funny, man. Dude. I would have thought he was kind of spun up or something. He but did it for... I know, he went 100 yards like that. Yeah. That was cool, man. Cool. I think we're out of water. That's awesome, man. Really good, good job, stuff, dude. dude. You're on them, man. Awesome, I'm going to come dude. fish with you the day after the permit tournament every year. <laughs> yeah. This is the permit revenge tour. It is. I like it.